Welcome inside this week's edition of Vikings Update. I'm Mark Potts, Sports Information Director here at Valley City State University. And as you can see behind us, Vikings softball hard at work because they open the season this weekend. Spring sports get underway. Vikings at the Presentation College Dome Tournament. We'll talk with head coach Michael Mook about that and more coming up later in the show. But first, plenty of basketball to get to. It is crunch time in the North Star Athletic Association season. We'll start there. We start this week's show with women's basketball, where the Vikings swept their games last week, going 2-0 in conference play. On Wednesday, hosted number 20-ranked Dickinson State. Teams were tied after the first quarter, but the Vikings opened the second quarter with a 17-2 run, building a commanding lead as they rolled to a 66-55 victory. Sarah Schwanke scored a season-high 18 points for the Vikings, shooting 8 for 10 from the field. Courtney Dixon and Mackenzie Huber both added 15 points. Valley City State had just six turnovers in the game. It is their second victory over ranked opponent this season. On Saturday, Vikings were on the road at Dakota State and picked up another win, 66-55. Mackenzie Huber had 17 points. Courtney Dixon, Lexi Lennon both posted double-double in points and rebounds. Vikings are now 15-9 overall and 8-3 and in conference play. Great week for the freshman Mackenzie Huber, who averaged 16 points and 4.5 and rebounds against a pair of teams with strong post defense. For her performance in VCSU's two victories, Huber was named the North Star Player of the Week, so congrats to Mackenzie. Men's basketball was also home Wednesday against Dickinson State. The Vikings trailed 28-21 in the first half, but took control of the game with a 21-3 run, closing out the first half, building a 42-31 halftime lead. The Vikings would not trail in the second half, earning the conference victory by a score of 91-79. Five different Vikings scored in double figures and two posted double-doubles. Justin Galloway had 17 points and 11 rebounds. Elwood Ellenson, 11 points, 12 rebounds, and three blocks. Nigel Drury and Nate Vieira both finished with 16 points. On Saturday, the Vikings dropped the road game at Dakota State as a second-half rally came up short in a 76-72 loss. Jaden Ferguson scored 20 in the loss, and Elwood Ellenson chipped in 15. The Viking men are 19-8 overall and 7-4 in conference play. Final week of the regular season is this week. Vikings open it by going to Mayville State on Wednesday, and then VCSU closes the season at home Saturday, hosting Presentation College at 4 and 6 p.m. for senior night. Postseason seeding still very much in flux for the Vikings. VCSU's women battling Dickinson State for the number two seed right now. Big advantage to be the number two seed, which would be in position to host two playoff games instead of just one. University of Jamestown has locked up the regular season championship and top seed for the postseason. The women's conference tournament begins February 24th. On the men's side, it's still a four-team race for the conference championship. If VCSU were to win out, the Vikings would earn at least a share of the conference championship and could still win the title outright. Dakota State, Bellevue, and Jamestown are also all in the thick of the title chase. The Viking men could finish anywhere from first to fourth in the regular season standings. The men's North Star Tournament begins February 25th. Viking track and field took two athletes to the NDSU Thundering Herd Classic on Saturday and set two school records. On the men's side, Demario Fair tied the school record in the 60-meter dash with a time of 7.12 seconds. He finished fourth at the meet. For the Viking women, Siri Geisler broke her own school record in women's shot put and qualified for nationals on Saturday. Geisler's throw on Saturday broke her old school record by 17 inches and met the NAIA B qualifying standard. The NAIA Indoor National Championships are set for March 3rd to 5th in Johnson City, Tennessee. For her performance, Geisler was also named the North Star Athletic Association Field Athlete of the Week, so congrats to Siri on her Player of the Week award. The entire Viking track team is back in action this weekend at the NSAA Indoor Conference Championships. That is Saturday in Brookings, South Dakota. Viking football released its 2016 schedule last week and revealed they will open the season at home under the lights. The Vikings host rival University of Jamestown on Thursday, August 25th, 7 p.m. in their season opener at Shelly Ellick Field. VCSU will also host Hastings College, Waldorf College, Dickinson State, and Presentation College during the season. And one feature Viking to announce this week as Viking Volleyball has signed Megan Schwarzrock, a 5'6 setter from Hutchinson, Minnesota. She helped Hutchinson High to a 27-4 record last season, so welcome to VCSU, Megan. And Viking Softball set to open the season this weekend with games at the Presentation College Dome Tournament. VCSU will play two games on Saturday, two more on Sunday. They will also play a pair of JV games during the tournament. 
So there it is, mid-February, and spring sports have officially arrived. Joined on this week's edition of Vikings Update by Michael Mook, head softball coach here at Valley City State. And coach, it's February, but you guys are getting ready to start the season this weekend, February 20th and 21st, Saturday, Sunday. Presentation College has a dome, so you can play indoors there. But uh, season's beginning. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, we're excited. You know, We can't wait to get playing games. Our kids have been working hard all off season. Uh, we're just excited to actually get to play games and see how we match up against some teams from our conference and some teams from the Northern Sun. Have you seen a lot of progression from you know the fall practices to your preseason practices here in the spring? Absolutely, yeah. Our kids have, have improved a ton you know, just in their approach to the game, how they practice, and their skills. They, their skills have improved a ton. It's fun watching video of when they started to now and just seeing the pro progression and seeing how much they've improved. I know they enjoy that too. What's the attitude of the team like as we approach the season opener? Is it kind of a bubbly excitement or kind of a nervousness? What do, what do you think? Yeah, exactly. I, I think it's more of a bubbly excitement. I think, I think they just want to play. I think they're excited to get in the field. I think they know they've worked hard all off season. I think they can't wait to, to get to see what it turns out on the field. So you have four games at the Dome this weekend, also two JV games, and then the next weekend, no, more four more games at the Dome. You know, what are your expectations for these first couple weekends? Are you getting a lot of people playing time, or what are your thoughts on that? You know, we're going to go out, we're, we're looking to be competitive. So, you know, I mean, I want to be able to see as much of our team as I can, but at the same time, we're going to go out to, to be competitive and win games. And then when you look at the overall season, have you talked to your team about setting any goals for the year, anything like that? Yeah, you know, we've always we set goals right away from the beginning, you know, and uh, for us, we want to be as competitive as we can. So it'll be fun to get a chance to play in these games this weekend and see how we do. All right, Coach, appreciate the time. Um, hard to believe softball is here, but looking forward to it this weekend. Yeah, thank you. We're excited to get going.